When most people think of Burma, the first images that come to their mind are those of political prisoners, monks protesting, military dictatorship, and civil war. But there is another side to Burma that most of the world knows very little about. In fact, for many people, especially biodiversity scientists, parts of Burma are like the dark side of the moon, mysterious and unexplored. But due to over 60 years of conflict, scientists have never really had a chance to explore the rich biodiversity, wildlife, and cultural heritage of the Karen indigenous people living in southeastern Burma. This is a story of endangered wild elephants and the struggle of the Karen people to protect the forests of Karen state from the effects of civil war and unsustainable development practices. Karen state is located in southeastern Burma on the western border of Thailand. The Megatha Forest is located in Duplaya district. This area is home to indigenous Karen forest farmers who have been living in harmony with their environment for hundreds of years. Their language, customs, and land use practices are common to both sides of the border. The Megatha Forest is biologically contiguous with the Tung Yai Naraswan Wildlife Sanctuary in Thailand. This area is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and comprises one of the world's largest dry tropical forests. The Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary was established in 1989 by the Karen National Union. The Karen people recognized that this lush and dense forest was one of the few remaining areas still inhabited by wild Asian elephants. From 2008 to 2010, the Duplaya Wildlife Research Team, consisting of local forest officers, Kisan staff, and local Karen villagers, conducted wildlife surveys in the Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary. The objectives of this research were to collect information on the distribution and population status of wild elephants, promote effective conservation policy and practice, increase local people's participation and capacity with regards to conservation, and understand threats to the elephants and other wild species in the Megatha Forest. The research team used a multifaceted approach to their work, using both primary and secondary data collection methods, as well as incorporating traditional indigenous knowledge. Based on the team's observations, the wild elephant population in the Megatha Forest is estimated to be between 15 to 18 individuals. Group size can vary from 2 to 7 individuals. The majority of the wild elephants sighted were females, including a direct observation of one pregnant female seen here. No direct observations of Tusker male wild elephants were made. However, tusk prints were found on elephant sleeping sites and on the barks of trees. The study area is a complex mountainous forest comprised of a variety of forest types, including lowland evergreen forests, bamboo dominant forests, mixed deciduous forests, and grasslands. There are many kinds of big trees here with the dipterocarb or tropical hardwood family being the most common megaflora. The trunks of these trees are at least one meter in diameter and emerging trees can be up to 40 meters high. The limestone hanging cliffs are used by the wild elephants for shelter and rest and are also home to bats, monkeys and other species. There are also a number of salt lakes in the forest. Two of these are still actively used by many wild animals, such as the elephant, gaur, tapir, and sambar. The forest is blessed with many streams and waterfalls. The largest river in the forest is the Megatha River that flows westward into the sanctuary from Thailand's Tung Yai Naraswan Forest. In addition to elephants, the Megatha Forest is also home to a wide diversity of other species. Some of the animals the research team captured on film include the guar, Asia's largest wild cattle, the munchak, the white-handed gibbon, the langur, the stump-tailed macaque, the black giant squirrel, the crab-eating mongoose, the otter, the sambar, the sunda pangolin, the common civet, tapir dung and footprints, 
the little claw marks, the black terrapin, the Malayan soft shell turtle, the water monitor lizard, the clouded monitor lizard, the great horn bear, the brown horn bear, the oriental pied horn bear, the silver pheasant, the banded kingfisher, the little cuckoo dove, the Blythe's river frog, and the Masio fish species. Although the Megatha forest is a diverse and relatively intact ecosystem, 22 of the 60 species identified in field surveys were found to be threatened. Among the indigenous megafauna, the endangered Asian elephant is still struggling to survive and faces a number of threats. Despite the ban on hunting and capturing wild elephants in the Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary, elephant calf capturing is still a major threat to the wild elephant population. During the course of the field surveys, the research team encountered wild elephant theft. This man was found setting up elephant traps and pitfalls in the forest in an attempt to capture wild elephants and sell them to Thailand or China. Poaching and wildlife trading are serious threats to the animals of Megatha. Sometimes local villagers have been caught poaching, but more often than not, it is outsiders such as migrant hunters, local militia, and Burmese military units who are involved. Poachers usually try to sell their illegally caught goods on the black market. Mining causes massive environmental damage for both the local villagers and for the forest. Currently, there are two antimony mines on the western boundary of the sanctuary. There is a serious risk of these mining activities encroaching into the Megatha forest. Logging has been banned in the sanctuary since 1989. But starting in 2008, the Burmese military began granting logging concessions to Burmese companies in Dublaya district. The Karen Forest Department allowed the companies to only log dead trees and only within their concession area. However, in 2008-2009, the Duplaya Wildlife Research Team found evidence of burned and girdled trees inside the Megatha Sanctuary. Indiscriminate burning by poachers, loggers and the Burmese military has also occurred inside and around the Megatha Forest. Civil war and military conflict has caused severe damage, not only to humans but to the wild elephant population in the forest. Many wild elephants and other endangered animals such as the tiger and the tapir have also been killed or maimed by landmines. However, it is not yet too late to reduce the destruction. There is still hope. Through the conservation efforts and advocacy campaigns of the Duplaya Wildlife Research Team, a number of awareness-raising events and capacity-building trainings have taken place for the communities living in and around the Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary. Villagers are keen to work together with the local forest department to protect and conserve this special area. Based on the research team's work and in consultation with communities, a number of recommendations have been made to protect the Megatha Forest. Recommendations for the Burmese government. Burma has ratified the following international conventions and treaties and should implement its commitments and obligations. Stop all military hostility. Stop logging and mining concessions. Recommendations for the Karen National Union. Enforce logging, poaching, and wildlife trafficking laws. Enforce KNU policies on wildlife and forest conservation. Stop logging or mining concessions in protected areas. Stop rubber plantations and other monoplantations in protected areas. Promote capacity building and education on sustainable forest management and conservation. Recommendations for civil society. Recognize the vital role of indigenous Karen people in the sustainable management and conservation of their wildlife and forests. Enhance awareness and provide capacity building for local communities and local authorities. Support more transboundary work for local conservation groups working on the Thai-Burma border. Foster collaboration and cooperation with local conservation groups on both sides of the Thai-Burma border.
که چه چاقه آو قیام غیت زاب تالی ساقه قاقل دوره تیکا Tokyo, 